good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? <laughs> all right. All right, thank you. Thank you once again for the co-creation of this interaction. We will begin this transmission once again by reminding you that the title is Will He or Won't He? Or, if you wish, Will She or Won't She? <laughs> the idea being, in general, that many people on your planet talk about this concept called God's Will. It's God's Will this. It's God's Will that. Now, there are many ways to understand this concept. Since you are creating the idea of your life and begin to choose that experience from a higher plane, the spirit level of your being, and create a kind of theme or destiny in your life that you then augment with your free will in physical reality, destiny being the theme or the hallway, free will being how you explore that theme or how you walk down that hallway. Thus, you could, in a sense, relegate the concept of God's will to the idea of the destiny that you yourself set up to explore the theme of being you. So that's one way to look at the concept. But on the broader perspective, the idea doesn't really make sense. Because while many people in their religious philosophy attribute to the concept of God, the idea of omniscience, all-knowing, omnipresent, everywhere. If God is, in fact, all-knowing and everywhere, then it is also everything. There can be no space at all that isn't occupied by it, which means you as well, and us, and everything in existence is actually made of God, in a sense. So, okay, in the pursuit of my passion, I guess there's just a lot of feelings sometimes of just being lost, just in life in general. Yes, but I again, know. that's when you stop okay. and not move forward and take that moment to say, I am feeling lost. I acknowledge it. I own it. What would I have to believe is true about myself in this situation to have this feeling? Because you know, as we've explained, you cannot have an emotion without believing something to be true. So that's the moment to take the time to ask those questions. Or you can ask it in another, more exciting and slightly scarier way. Since we know many people on your planet are so used to experiencing fear, you can use it to your advantage in the following way by asking the question this way. If, in fact, I did just move forward in the way that I really prefer to, mm -hmm. follow my passion without hesitation, if I really allowed myself to be who I really prefer to be, what am I afraid might happen? That will usually reveal the negative belief that's holding you back, that's allowing you to feel lost. So all you have to do is be honest with yourself, acknowledge how you feel, and ask those questions and be willing to find the answer. It will come in some way, shape, or form. Okay. But that's what those moments are for. You don't plow through them. You don't ignore them. You don't sweep them under your rugs. You stay there and go, ah, this is my opportunity to discover something new about myself. Let me see what kind of belief would I have to have to be having this experience. Oh, how exciting a mystery is this.